Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers 2 brains. In this video, we are going to show how to bind a grid view to an XML file. So let's begin with the demo. Uh, first let's create an XML file. To create an XML file, right click on your project and add new item. and select an XML file. We, you can name this XML file whatever you want. We have named this XML file as user details all XML and click on add. <coughs> so after adding the XML file will appear in the solution explorer. In the solution explorer you can the, the user details XML file will be empty. So what you can do you can create a parent node in the par you can name anything like employee details user details sport details student details whatever you want so under the parent we can create a child node for every child node we will have all the properties like user id username job title address and this will be repeated for all the users so once this is created let's go to create a grid view we have already added a page gridviewexample.aspx on this page we have two parts one is the designer page other one is the source code so on the designer page <coughs> you can drag drop a grid view in the data section you can select grid view and just drag drop when you drag drop you will find it will not have on all these properties like columns it will only have ID, run at server, and or and the width. So you can add all the properties like columns, and you can bind this using the ASP bound field. So in the ASP bound field, you can add all the properties which are there in the XML file. Like we have user ID, username, city, country user id username city country and the data field should exactly match what is there in the xml file so once this is done in code behind what you have to write is simply create a function bind grid view to X xml in this function we have to read the xml file using dataset dot read xml this will read all the details which are there in the xml file and it will bind using the data source and data bind of the grid view so let's debug this we put a breakpoint here and set this page as a startup page As we have written this method in not is pushback, this method will only execute once. So if we see, see the data set, it is having all the details which are there in the XML file. And the table is table name is exactly the name of the node. Okay, so all the details which are there in the grid in the XML file are binded to the grid view. We have also written a code related to paging in this in this ASPX file. So let's start with paging also. To start with paging, we have set a property called allow paging equal to true, and uh, to navigate to the next page, we have a function on page index changing and this function is an inbuilt function which you can find here events 
on page index changing and when we click on it it will be redirecting us to this one so what you have done in this is we can now we are having very less records so what we can do is we can set the page size page size equal to say 4 Okay, so here we have the page numbers 1, 2 when we click on 2 this on page index changing event will fire. If you can see the page index, the page index is 1 and after changing the page index we again, uh, again have to call the bind grid view XML method so that the data, new data which is coming on page index 1 will get binded to this grid view ok so this was the demo about binding the xml file to the grid view for more demos and more videos you can subscribe to our channel 20 fingers 2 brains and also you can visit our blog 20 fingers 2 brains.blogspot.com thanks for watching